Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and the unknown species. Welcome back to Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden Memories. I'm Exito Bites, and in the last episode, we unlocked Low Meadow Mage, and I fought him quite a lot in Free Duel. Unfortunately, I didn't get any good cards, pretty much. But, um, I'm gonna fight the C, C Shrine guy, because he is kind of easier than the other ones. Because you have to, you know, fight him, and then you have to fight the High Mage in order to actually advance and, uh, you know, get the millennium item that we have to get so I th and also the electric there's a um, water state so my electric types get a bonus meaning I have a l small advantage small advantage alright we're gonna start off with twin handed thunder penis we are gonna put him in Pluto we're gonna leave him in attack mode and end our turn I actually just fought him and I lost against a high mage. I am upset that I lost against a high mage. Quite upset. Actually, but it's okay. So the reason being I played him instead of monster cards is because I don't have any strong monster cards. In my hand at least. So I'd rather get my defenses up rather than get my offenses up. Okay. Mm. Good. Got him. And then we'll attack your life points directly by a little bit. This little bit will of course help. I am going to take some damage, but I'm not going for an s tech. I'm just going for a victory. Oh, you mad upset. Even better for me. Alright. I don't want to combine. No. Let's go, Pluto. I can sacrifice him, but why would I do that? That makes literally no sense, in my opinion. But now we can do some direct damage. Next turn, and you are dead. Fortunately, it's not this turn, but that's okay with me. Actually, I think I could have won the duel. If I suicided and then attacked with the... Yeah, I think I could have actually won the duel if I did that, but it's okay. Not a big deal, not in my opinion. Because we just won the duel. Hell yeah. Boom. Now let's go fight. Hi, mage. Uh, uh, hi, mage ocean. Penguin knight, what? Penguin knight. That's freaking... Is that a good card? I can't even remember if that's a good card. Forgive me, I lose the duel. I am so sad. This guy, he looks pretty normal. He has a nice looking beard. He has a pretty big nose. And he has like golden armor on, so... All in all, he's pretty hes pretty normal looking. He looks like a nice human. Penguin Knight, you are... No, you suck. You are never going in my deck. Because I need dragons. Dragons are actually the strongest cards in this game, but you guys probably knew that because Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and Black Meteor Dragon. And we get a Twin Head of Thunder Penis on our first turn. We're gonna put everyone in Pluto if we can. Because I'm scared that if I don't go Pluto, I'm not gonna win. I th the first time I fought him, he got Suijin on his first turn and he completely demolished me with that card. So I'm thinking that he's probably going to Suijin himself again. So, I'm not going to go Mars. Because Neptune is super effective against Mars. Whoa! That's a very strong card. 30, 50 attack points. Eesh, that's stronger than a Suijin. He put it in defense mode. Why? Not putting anyone in Mars. I'll go Mercury for everybody. Why? You're dead. Dude. I just brought him down to 1100 life points. Seriously? So, wh what is he gonna do this turn? I think I just won? 
Let's see. We're gonna find out right now if I just won the duel or not. I just won the duel. Wow. Yeah, we defeated High Mage Ocean Guy. I don't know what the boss's name is. High Mage Ocean, I would assume. Uh, Djin, Jin, the Watcher of the Wind. Jin, the Watcher of the Wind. Jin, the Watcher of the Wind. Is that a good card? I don't know. You are powerful. Of course I am. I just destroyed you because you didn't get your Hui. You didn't get your Huijin. You didn't get your Suijin. And we get the Millennium Necklace. Thanks. What else is next? Now that that's over, there's nothing else to really do there. Um, I would rather save the game, to be quite honest. It's only been six minutes, so I don't know. I don't want to fight another... Uh, I don't want to fight another... Another mage meadow, guys, because that could just make the episode last super long then. So instead of that, let me, um, I have an idea. Let me go to the training grounds and let's duel some people to unlock them. No, Jono, too, I already have you. Talk to somebody else. Tiana, two I already have you. Villager one, you is who I want to fight. Yes, I want to fight you. Actually, I think he's villager. No, he's villager one. Villager two is the other guy. So I actually I didn't unlock him because I totally forgot that you have to fight these guys in the beginning of the game in order to unlock them in free duel. So I'm just gonna fight him right now and completely demolish him, destroy his swordsman spirit, trash it completely. We're just gonna start off with a flame swordsman, and we'll see from there. I'm pretty sure his cards are still like five, six hundred in attack. Yep, 250 exactly. Now that that's done, now we can completely demolish. Some more of his life points. This is gonna take like a minute to do. And next turn we pretty much win unless he gets something like a Dark Hole or a Regeki. Let's see what he's doing. He's playing a card in defense mode, so that means I win. Uh let's go with Cursed Dragon. We're gonna attack with Flame Swordsman. Demolish him. And we just won the duel. That was fast, I know. Uh, let's fight Villager 2. If he, if we can fight Villager 2, let's fight Villager 2 so I can unlock him. I think Simon is forever gone, so I don't think you can ever duel Simon again. And Villager 3, uh, you can never duel him again either, unless you duel him in the beginning. Because he, because of uh, all the time that's passed, he's, you know, quit dueling. This is Villager 2. So he's, he's actually a lot harder than Villager 1. He's actually a lot, lot, lot harder than Villager 1. So if you're fighting him in the be if you fought him in the beginning of the game, you probably either got really lucky and destroyed him or raged a few times before actually beating him. I am going to destroy him and not rage a few times. Now that we have all of these guys, I can duel them in free duel and that's what I'm gonna do. But next time, which I'm going to actually record right after this episode we're gonna fight the desert guy and unless I completely dis get destroyed by him and then you'll never see it but then you will see it eventually after I grind more I can show you how many how many monsters uh, how many times I fought Jonah 2 and high mage just to show you how many how many times I've gotten unlucky and not got on any good cards it's actually a lot of times I have not gotten the dark magician yet the only good card I've gotten was like uh, Curse of Dragon, which isn't even like really that good. And I got one guy of the Fierce Knight, only one. No, no Dark Magicians, no Skull Knights, nothing like that. So I'm very, very unlucky. Dang it, he lives with 100 life points. What the heck? What is he gonna do for his last turn? Draw your last pathetic card, Yugi. My grandpa doesn't have any pathetic cards, but it does have this. The unstoppable Exodia. Exodia! 
Oh, obliterate! Let's finish him off with Sun Gun. Yeah, Ming. What? Anyways, we just totally won the duel. I don't know why we didn't get an S pal. We got an A. And I guess you lost. Let's see. Let's talk to someone else. Let's see what the villager three has to be. Hey, it's been a while, boy. It's changed around here. You know, I've lost interest in dueling these days. What else do you want to do? We're going to go outside and we're going to end the episode off here. So thank you all for watching. And next time, we will fight um the desert guy. The desert mages. I, I think the desert mages are easier than the mountain mages. People say the mountain mages are actually the easiest. But I think the mountain mage has a meteor black dragon. And I don't want to fight that. Meadow mage. I, I know for a fact that the Meadow Mages are the hardest. Low Meadow Mage isn't too hard, but High Meadow Mage is the absolute hardest of all the Meadow Mages. If memory serves me correctly, which I'm pretty sure it does. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. But until next time, don't forget to rub the rubber ducky.